so hello everyone welcome back to the channel i hope you are doing good so today in this video we are going to discuss about operating systems which is a part of a section b so i will be sharing my experience and i will be sharing some important insights uh, which is earned during the preparations of CCAT exams for the batch of august 2024 so basically my exam was held on 6th of july morning slot so let's start with the topics which are started by me during the preparation so for os i started these six topics which was like basically four major topics of os the system architecture process management memory management file and storage management and introductions computer hardware okay so basically these four topics are very important so for these four topics these two topics are pre requesting you need to know about this uh, if you want to know about these four topics you need to have uh, these two topics uh, proper knowledge so that you can understand how physically it works how actually the os works and after that you will go into the uh, properties or you can say functions of os like system architecture designs in systems of a call what is in mode operations in which uh, how system mode operate how kernel mode operate when kernel mode is contacted when system mode is contacted uh, how process are carried on other kisi ek task diya hai to how it is carried on okay Inter-process communication, process synchronizations, how, what is meant by deadlock, or avoiding deadlock, what are the deadlock handling methods. Here, yeah, what is the scheduling algorithm? Scheduling algorithm is very important topic in process management. Memory management, what is meant by swapping? Swapping is very important. What is meant by conti continuous uh, uh, memory allocation? What is meant by paging? Paging is very important topic in memory management. What is meant by virtual memory management? What is meant by demand paging? Again. Trashing is important, demand page is important. So whichever point I have shutted down here is very important in the perspective of OS. That's it. I request you guys to pause the video and just write down these all topics one by one, one under the another, so that you can tick once you are completed with the topic, so that it will be easier to account your preparation for the OS subject. Okay. Now, how do I prepare? How did I started the preparation? First, theory. As you all know, theory means knowledge. To know about the knowledge you need to uh, read it so for reading i use website and for this i use foundry uh, san foundry website okay san foundry website is a good next one geeks for geeks okay iske baad uh agar aapko website mein read kar te samay samaj mein nahi hai aur aapko samajna hai so you can also go for youtube watch one video which is on specific topic so it will help you to understand each and every perspective of the topic which is important i did the same okay after that uh after theory is completed reading and understanding you have to prepare your handwritten notes uh basically i advise you to write for handwritten notes because i done the similar thing which is will help you indirectly during your revision okay revision ke samay it will be the game changer for you Okay, this is what first thing you have to do. Second thing is MCQ. Okay, MCQ first website I which I have used was secretpreparation.com. So basically, secretpreparation.com has not sponsored me, but generally speaking, I prepare from this uh, website and enrolled for their section A plus section B course. After that, I saw from Indabix. Indabix also provides you a free resource for the MCQs. At least solve 30 questions per topic. It will help you a lot. After that, solve for Sand Foundry. Sand Foundry is like it will give you a best topic wise MCQs. Also, I request to solve you like 30 questions per topic. Uh, so, basically, these two important steps must be done in your initial days of preparation so that uh, at the end when the exam comes nearer the mess one must thing you have to do is revision so basically just a minute guys i'll rub this out huh. so basically third step is revision and for revision from where you revise from your handwritten notes because last moment jake aap padhai kar rahe ho videos watch kar rahe ho will not benefit you here uh when you go in exam you will not even remember what you have studied okay it's like revision must be kuch bhi karna revision karke jana okay so this is it uh so now i will tell the final step 
ओवरऑल ले आउट ऑफ द प्रिपरेशन ठीक है तो एज वी डिस्कस फर्स्ट थिंग सॉरी फर्स्ट थिंग इज हेरी सेकेंड थिंग इज एम सी क्यू थर्ड थिंग इज रिविजन तो रिविजन करते समय तीन स्टेजेस में करना है आपको फर्स्ट वन इज रीड योर हैंड रिटर्न नोट्स सेकेंड वन इज मॉक टेस्ट और मॉक टेस्ट देते समय आपको पता चलेगा जिस जिस पे आपका रॉन्ग है मतलब गलत हो गया है जस्ट गो इन एक्सप्लेनेशन सेक्शन एंड डू द नीडफुल थिंग सो दैट सी वॉट वेंट रॉन्ग एंड टेक द एक्सप्लेनेशन इन टू योर नोट बुक एंड आफ्टर दैट योर फाइनल रिविजन सो दिस थ्री टाइम्स रिविजन विल रियली हेल्प यू आउट ड्यूरिंग द एग्जाम बिकॉज फॉर ऑपरेशन सिस्टम ऑपरेशन सिस्टम इज अ वेरी वर्स टॉपिक and for this exam it needs only your uh, dedication to read the basic basic knowledge uh, it is a very interesting topic and for me it was very wonderful experience to study operating system which was much much far better than any other topic i think so operating system is very interesting topic as i said uh, that's it for operating system i hope you have enjoyed the video and you have found out the needful what to do how to do and from where to do So that's it for this video. I hope you like it. And on that note, thank you for watching the video and listening me up to the end. Thank you.